Hey y'all. Well, fresh teal dirt can only mean one thing. Either you're just starting out or you're starting over for the fourth time, which is going on in this case here, isn't it, sissy? Boy, I tell you, uh, y'all got to stick around. I got a special guest this evening, and uh, really past special, a, a cherished friend and, and a, a leader. My pastor is here this evening, and uh, I got... I've just, I kind of mind blown this evening as I was thinking through things. I've kind of been aggravated about this replant business and, and uh, not mad, not upset, just aggravated, you know, more work. But uh, Sylvia pulled one on me at work and, and got a, uh, we got a planter. We was going in halves on it. It makes things a little easier. And uh, then lo and behold, she surprised me and said she we wasn't going in halves. She'd got it for me. So I made quick use of that and being it cut down the time and probably oh, a fifth of the time today, most of it was just tilling. But, Maybe this batch of crowders will come up. I do have some pea sprouts coming from another plant. but um, Just wondering about God's timing. And uh, I thought I'd be way ahead of the curve this year and uh, already be well on to making peas, but not so much. It really hit me when uh, I was preparing for a pastor to stop by. Y'all know what I mean. When you have a, a guest come over, you want to gussy up the place a little bit more. But this one was different. This one's special. He's a dear friend. I had a chance to work with him, and and uh, I guess that was right when I moved in here for a few weeks as I got settled. Spent a lot of time talking about God and life and faith and work ethic, and we kind of G and haul together on those things. There is one thing we argue about. Y'all find out about that in a minute. But uh, anyway, one of his pet peeves is gas cans and not being filled up. And I got tickled. I, th I thought, well, maybe he'll come and do a gas check on me. I better better be prepared. Lo and behold, God had other plans on that deal. So I uh, I ran up to the, the convenience store, filled up two little old tanks I had, come on back to the house. But as I'm pulling up, there's a brand new trailer that's moved right by the road. I don't know why they put it that close. And whatever, not my business, not my story, I guess. But I looked over there, and the tenants had just moved in. And this old boy was out there in the, the heat. It was sunny. And uh, he had an electric push mower working on grass up to his knees. Well, I didn't hesitate. I'm not telling you this because I, I did it. It's because it was a chance for me to give back of all the blessings that I get. I didn't even think about it. I jumped out of the truck, got on the mower, rode across. And I'm, I'm making a lap behind him, kind of scared him. And he smiled. And he went to shake my hand. And then we stopped and we laughed and the mower's running. You can't talk, don't know him. And we kind of bumped the elbows and I went on and mowed the yard. But what really struck me is he didn't stop mowing. He didn't just take it and lay down. He kept on a pushing as I made through the tall stuff. But man, that mower was a gift to me a few years back or a year and a half ago. And I push mowed this old place. And I could tell by the look on his face, I've had that feeling before. To see that relief there. But uh, I will say this at the end of the the deal his name's matt his uh girlfriend's name is tony they're about at my age and good folks seem to be and uh we shook hands and i'm not scared about it hey let me bring this gentleman on and uh, he's out here calling chickens these chickens don't know what to think about it this is pastor ronnie frankens y'all uh and we'll, we'll actually shake it well, i don't know if we can shake let's say <laughs> we can we can <laughs> but uh he's been a pastor and a more importantly, a friend of my family for 20 years. He uh, he counseled mom through the loss of her mom here on this old place back in, I guess it was 08, along in that, that deal. And counseled me through both of my divorces. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> but, uh, no, he's a he's a good family friend, and, and I enjoy his company. Hadn't been able to get over to Lufkin in a few weeks and sure miss him. But uh, how you like preaching on the porch? Well, you know, it's different. I, I enjoy it. It's, you know, I'm in for something brand new all the time anyway. And I think we're reaching more people. Well, really, yeah. I think we are that way. We, we you yeah. know, we're, we've got our little FM station already yeah. going and right yeah. around about a mile coverage there. And, yeah. and, uh, then you, it's, it's different. I'm enjoying it really though. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah I think God brings us out of our, our, our shell, you know, yeah. that's right. Well, you've stopped by here more than once, but never really got out and looked at the place. And uh, he's having a time looking at all these chickens, and, and they're acting a fool tonight. <laughs> They've been cooped up all day. Oh, I'm team. enjoying this. This this yeah. is this brings back old memories. It yeah. really does. Well, you're not from the country, are you? Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> kind of, sort of, yeah. Yeah. Well, 
He, uh, yes, I, I told him on the way over here, of course, I, I know most of y'all are, are not being able to really associate with your church family as most of us aren't. And it's kind of hard from a car length away that's officially. Right. And, uh, but uh, that's that's what's good. That's one of the things that about church, and you you can take away with this is is the fellowship. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and that's one thing I've noticed at our church. And I mean, you dismiss, and everybody's there two hours later, just sitting there talking. <laughs> talking, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's I think that uh, looks like a healthy church whenever people do that. Yeah, you know, and and I love it that way. I I hang out with them too. I'm a people person, and I love people and. And I'm glad that God's put that in my heart and got a, yeah. a pastor's heart here. And uh, So anyway, I, I love getting out like this. It's my first time to be over in a setting like this, of course. But yeah. he's been showing me his chickens, and he got some turkeys. And i tell you what. It's, we was talking turkey, wasn't we? That's right. That's right. <laughs> it's a real farm out here. Old time. Old yeah. time stuff. Well, we may be eating out of that garden here pretty quick at the church. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. You know, you can't tell that. I was kind of wondering there for a while about the food and, and how we would be able to eat, but uh, you yeah. know, so far we hadn't missed hadn't missed any meals. Right. So. Well, a lot of unknowns and a lot of uncertainties, and and uh, just kind of wanted to bring these these folks that uh, that tune in, and we're we become kind of an extended family. And I uh, love your heart and love your word, and just uh, if you want to. Say, I mean, a lot of unknowns out there. Nobody knows what's coming, and yes, sir, that's a lot of right. people are unsettled. And that's right. And uh, even from a job standpoint, you know, lots of jobs are going to be lost through this. And um, just, I know you've been uplifting the congregation. Not everybody tunes in, so uh, if you got a few words on that subject, just feel free. There. Oh yeah, I tell you what, faith is a faith is a wonderful thing. Scripture teaches us that faith without works is dead. But I want to tell you, faith with works works yeah and uh <clears throat> prophet in the old testament i'll tell you a little story it happened there uh, they were guy was fell in the beam the way it called it of course he was cutting down a tree they were building houses and uh guy had borrowed an axe and the axe head went into the water and he runs to elisha and he says alas master the, the axe was borrowed, huh. and he's upset because he's lost something that he borrowed. College student that reads like he is, and, and School of the Prophets is what it was, and it probably didn't even have enough money to buy an axe, but <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you college students know what I'm talking about if I'm talking to any out there. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, he said, where did it go in the water? He, he, he it, it, it went in the water. He said, where did it go in? He said, well, right along over here. The prophet told him, cut down a stick and throw it in where the axe head went in. And he cut down a stick. Now, tell me if anybody out there can uh, tell me what happened, you know, to cause that axe head to float without uh, the... The only thing I think is it's some kind of works. He said, cut down a stick, throw it in the water, and when he threw it in, the axe came up swimming. And he reached out and got it. Ain't that something? So faith without works is dead. We have to do something in honor to God when we ask him. Uh, so God, I, I need a, I need a, a, a car. I need a, a new vehicle. God, well, well, first thing, it'd be nice for you to get out and get a job, you know. <laughs> that, that's God, the first step. <laughs> God, God could give it to you. But again, faith without works is dead. And I remember reading recently, Jesus said, when the Son of Man cometh, shall there be faith on the earth? Which leaves a very strong connotation. There's not going to be a lot of faith. And I'm, I'm looking at it nowadays that people, people don't trust God anymore. And, and uh, of course, it seems like we're just, uh, America, the whole world seems like drunk as a boiled owl. <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, we we don't know what's coming, and we're oh. afraid and fearful, and that's right. And things are just out of sorts. Hey, trust in God, believe right. Him, believe Him, and, and God God honors faith if you'll just simply believe Him and trust Him. God's going to really honor faith. I remember back I'll tell you another little story, and then we're going to walk around and look here. You don't but, need to use that outhouse, do you? You have to no. kill the camera if you go that route. <laughs> no, no, no. I, 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 I don't need to do that. But anyway, back in about, I think it was about the turn of the century, 
the guy wanted to do a tightrope across Niagara Falls. And of course, he, he walked the tightrope across Niagara Falls. And uh, then he walked it back. And uh, I mean, everybody was cheering him on. True story, you can, you can pull this up on the internet and find the story that I'm speaking of. And so he pushed a wheelbarrow across on that tightrope across Niagara Falls. And, and uh, so he pushed it back across and to his cheering, I mean, people were, people were just going, going wild. So he, he walked it and came back and pushed a wheelbarrow across it and came back. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. He did that. And he said, do you believe I can do it again? And, that, and they cheered him on. We know you can. We've seen you do it. Well, he said, well, who would like to ride across? <laughs> and you know, he didn't get a take, not one. Now they knew he could, but yeah. they, their That's their good. belief began to fail. That That's their right. trust. That's right. And faith is trust, ladies and gentlemen. We have to trust God in everything we go at, and by doing so, God does some miraculous works. Mm. He really does. He yep. really does. I shared this with you uh, <laughs> earlier. The uh, first when I moved in here, I had a little farming in my background. Mm -hmm. I had a little sense about it, but uh, I had more faith than I had knowledge at that point. I just knew I needed to put it in and attend to it. And, man, we had a bumper crop. You remember, like, just oh, pretty yeah. as all get out. Yeah. And this year I've got all this knowledge and all this experience. And, and I still got the faith, but uh, the knowledge is kind of tapping on the faith a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I go out there and I'm outsmarted myself, and here I am planting the fourth time. And day I'm like, you know what? I'm just known with the knowledge. I've put, put faith in ball with you. <laughs> there you go. Let faith do it. I work. put the work in, believe me. <laughs> but uh, it's kind of like the old boy sliding down a tin roof. I heard, and and uh, I mean, he was praying, God help me, help me, Lord. About that time, a nail caught him in the seat of the britches and stopped him. And he says, Never mind, God. This nail got me. <laughs> So that kind of reminds me about Brother Joel here. He's, you know, I, I got it now, God. I can have yeah, it. I don't that's need That's what I thought. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't need it. I, got, I, I know what I'm doing now. That's right. Yeah, he showed that's me right. what I was doing. I guarantee you. You know what? And he takes us through tests and trials. And we're, mm. we're America, the whole world's going through some trials right now. But uh, I believe we're going to come out shining on the other side. And I believe it's only going to be better. Yeah. Whenever yeah. He, he takes us through a trial like that. He does it for a reason, to make us stronger mm. and, and make us, uh, our resolve is, is, is even stronger. We're gonna, we don't know how it's gonna happen, but God's never failed us. First Kings eight fifty six. you might look that up later. God has not failed on not one single one of his many promises. Not one has he ever failed on. So we just have to trust God and believe it's all gonna be all right and, and it will, it will. I you know, I, I know, Everybody that watches this agrees with me on this, or, or I believe they do, based on comments and talk and all, but uh, the family structure is really what's missing at the core of things in this yeah. country. Yeah, oh, that's right. And one of the side benefits was funny how all of a sudden the family's got to stay home together. Uh -huh. And they're almost being forced to, to rediscover each other in some ways. So, you know, you saying that, uh, you know, where I live, I've got, uh, let's see, I've got one two of my children it, that live right near me now and I don't know what's really brought this on exceptions you know we're having a meal nearly every night over at my house with my kids Brandy and, and Gentry and and uh, their three children and, and then Brian and Amber and their two children come uh, often too and I mean it's just it's almost like, like heaven, heaven on, on earth yeah, <laughs> yeah That's right. we said it together That's right. to That's heaven right. on earth for yeah. grandpa and grandma here I tell you what we enjoy and uh, yeah it wears us out a little bit because we stay up until midnight and just enjoy and fellowship mm. one another but where are we going the next morning <laughs> <laughs> you got nowhere to go six hey we're oh. <laughs> now wait a minute is that about six feet <laughs> is that six feet <laughs> here this it's about six foot Wait a minute. I'll give you the working end yeah, of that one. Okay. <laughs> Let me work. Come over. <laughs> Easy now. <laughs> Gonna knock some sense uh, up into my head. <laughs> yeah, I got an old boy. He said, Lord, I pray you put some sense up into this mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I tell you what, we enjoy it. We enjoy it. Well, we had a good time Easter's. working together, didn't we, those few We did. Yeah, we did. Yeah. I was looking at the fence a while ago. And we run out of material there, and, and he I think he is glad to run, we run out because he, <laughs> I, I worked him a little too. No, I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I no, saw him I, when he I drove up. He was raking this. I'm thinking, boy, this man has got some energy. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, now, I told y'all there's one thing we disagree on. And I think you'll agree that we disagree on That's this. That's right. Deal. Amen. All right. So I, when I see a piece of land, I'm ready to till it and garden it and cultivate it. If he sees land or grass, he's going to put a slab on it <laughs> and wash it down. That's right. I like it. Clean. I gave you some concrete seeds one time, didn't I? <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> to plant it with concrete. And, hey, and they've it. come up, too, all over the place. On the back of your place there? Oh, oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know the building we was working on? Mm -hmm. I was thinking about that. We've got it covered, and I got it okay. and stuff in it. Yeah. You're going to have to come over and look at it. Yeah. Yeah, I guarantee you. Well, I'm, I'm a perfectionist, but he's OCD, and when we got together on that fence... Boy, we were we going around. Heads, yeah, we? we did. We did. But we laughed and kept Absolutely. Moving. Hey, we got it looking good, straight and level and, and we're both happy with our job. We can't uh we couldn't even agree on where to go eat right now, imagine. If anything was open. Well, I see some good chicken around here. <laughs> Don't you be loading that up. <laughs> Gentry's gonna send me a picture of y'all eating one of my chickens. <laughs> We're gonna take a picture of the chicken and then we might go over to raising cane here yeah. directly if you're hungry. Yeah. Chicken. Well, he didn't like that, did he? <laughs> you know he didn't. He said, You talk about me. <laughs> and they like your red truck. Yeah they do. Mm. That's right. Well let me do a quick roll call, see who all's on here and We'll call it evening, but I hope y'all enjoyed him coming by. I know I sure did. Hey, um, I enjoyed I enjoyed being being in the midst. Y'all can find the uh, church page, uh, Greater Love Tabernacle. Um, he's doing parking lot services and things of that nature. So um, on normal service time, Sunday school and Sunday and all that. But uh, 10 o'clock Sunday morning, yeah. 6 o'clock Sunday evening, 7 o'clock uh, Wednesday night, tune us yeah. in. A lot of horn That's honking it. going on these days. <laughs> we can't shout hallelujah. I said, Give us a hallo hallelujah honk. A hallo honk. Hall 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 there you go. <laughs> oh, different yeah. time for sure. All right, there's Leanne checking in saying howdy. Mike's in Cottonwood, California. How are you, sir? Uh, Linda's checking in from Tennessee. No, North Carolina, I think. I don't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> Got a mind block there. Melissa's saying hello from North Carolina. There's a lot of folks on here, Brother Frankis. There's uh, Charlotte checking in from West Tennessee. Uh, hey, Pastor, I'm in Colorado, and our church has reached more people, too. So the Lord isn't in quarantine. We're, hey, that's <laughs> right. We're covering the nation in this little broadcast. Well, there's Dominique Perrier from France saying hello. Hey, Dominique. And, yeah, Brian. Brian's checking in. Alan's checking in. There's Charlotte saying be the light. Donna's saying howdy from West Columbia, Texas. Wow. Uh, let's see. Joyce, hello. How are you? Uh, Beckville is in the house. Faith is love and life is life. That's right. Constance is checking in from Nacogdoches. Well, may, uh, maybe if I holler she can hear us. So right. Andrew from Florida. Hope those poults are paying the instructor chicks. Well, no, I don't think they are, but uh, they're getting along okay. Uh, there's Wendy saying she has complete faith. Aggies, be not afraid. And trust in the Lord, Amen. That's right. Love that. Yeah, Crystal saying howdy from Fairfield. Let's see, we just planted our garden Sunday. I think we planted too much. That's okay. We'll share with the neighbors. Hey, there you go. That's a good. Good way to do it. Somebody said lucky neighbors. <laughs> uh, Brenda from uh, uh, Catula, Texas, saying the Lord is testing you, but look how much stronger you are than you were two years ago. Yes, ma'am. That is that is right. That is right. Thank you. Um, love y'all much. Allison saying howdy. Uh, Ian, uh, love watching channel old timey with some well, just, just old farm sense and faith, I guess is better. Right. It's, right. it sure emanated here for sure. There's AC, uh, Stephanie's saying God is good. Rhonda's, uh, Rhonda's saying she's in Houston. Um, she recognized you as a pastor. She watches some of your services and well, thanks you for them. She enjoyed good them. To, good to hear, yeah. hear your voice. Yeah. There's, uh, yeah, there's AC again. Billy saying good evening. Uh, Miss Charlotte down Trinity Way. I'm, I'm still a scrolling. I'm. <laughs> uh, Richard ba uh, Richard Bailey saying hi for mom. Richard Bailey. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Oh, yeah. hey, that's uh, good. That's yeah, good. Okay. Well, howdy back. There's uh, uh. All right. Let me see if I can get it right this time. I called her my mother-in-law the other day, and I'm like, well, how, when did you get married? I said, well, I didn't. Well, why'd you call me? My stepmother and my dad are watching. <laughs> she well, wanted to know. Deal. She wanted to know. Hey, brother and sister Johnson. They were, she wanted to know uh, when I got married and didn't tell her about it or something. I, I don't even know. I got all That's tongue fine. twisted. Uh, let's see. South Texas saying howdy. Uh, there's Danny, 
my future or my son-in-law to be. Good. Yeah, saying Good. Uh, me and Faith miss you. Hey, missing tell Faith you. I said hi. Yeah. And Danny too. Yep. And you know, uh, Boeing closed their plant up there, suspended operations. Of course, they'll rebound. But uh, things pretty tough up here on that east coast right hey, now. Hey, things are good on this chicken yard. Tell yeah, him to come him on down this way. Come on, don't faith. Get Y'all don't get him to talk. He said, I need a little more faith on this farm, don't <laughs> Yes, sir. We just <laughs> talked about you a while ago, girl. <laughs> in Milford, Texas, checking yeah. in. Yeah. Well, y'all, I don't know what he plans to do with this uh, pitchfork, but it ain't. I'm just leaning I'm, on it. I'm getting a little. Well, he ain't building a fence, so maybe I won't get hit. <laughs> but we're going to call it an evening and. And enjoy the rest of this sunset, I guess, brother. Hey, good, and, uh, good to good to speak into somebody's life today. Yeah. How faith in God, it's all gonna work out. Everything's gonna work well, and uh, the Lord's gonna bless us and keep us and keep His good hand upon us. Would you like for me to pray a prayer over, hey, that'd over be, your group? That'd be that'd good. be okay with that'd... everybody. Dear Lord, we love you today. Thank you for the people of the world, God. Lord, you said in your word, all people are yours oh god they're all yours lord jesus and i pray you'd touch them today bless especially these that are listening and those oh god that will be listening later whenever it's posted on uh on uh, other places oh god youtube would you keep your good hand upon us and about us oh god we trust you we believe you thank you for this beautiful evening oh god thank you for a time to worship and praise Thank you for your great creation, O oh God, beautiful trees and plants and, and animals, O oh Lord, and your people. All souls are yours. Ezekiel, I believe, 18 and 3. Touch them, Lord, in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Amen. You, God bless you all. Y'all be the light. We'll see you later.